in-depth, investigative. This is a KXAN News Update. Good Thursday morning to you once again. It is a cloudy start to our day. Here's Mark. Yeah, sure is, and we're confirming that by a live look from our Circuit of the Americas cam over southeast Austin right now. You can see the cloud cover with a few peaks of sunshine trying to get through. Uh, I think this is going to be a sight we'll see quite often today, partly to mainly cloudy skies are in the forecast this afternoon. But there is the chance we see some uh, light rain, and we're already getting some of that light rain in a few spots down for our southeastern hill country communities. You can see Gillespie County, portions of Blanco County and now entering Llano County. Some very, very light raindrops coming your way. So we'll keep the umbrellas around today. A little disturbance to our south. We'll continue to throw an isolated shower or two through from time to time. And meanwhile, it will be warm and muggy. 77 already at ABIA and downtown. 75 in Llano and 74 in Fredericksburg. By the time we hit the low 90s, humidity levels will be high. That means a heat index value near 100. Otherwise, breezy with that 10 to 20 percent shot for rain. Mandy, over to you. All right, thanks, Mark. Happy Thursday morning. Let's talk about your roadways. Two problem spots to give you a heads up on. Stalled vehicle working on I-35 northbound between Slaughter Lane and William Cannon Drive. A very tricky spot already for a lot of drivers. We have that usual bumper to bumper backup. Let's take it over to a fender vendor working in North Austin. This is at Rumberg Lane and North Plaza there. Wait before you make your way over to I-35. It's not blocking, but you just may spot at least one police unit in the area working to monitor that scene. A quick look now with our textile cameras. So we travel outside and over to I-35 at Woodward. Here's that slow traffic moving northbound all the way to Ben White. Don't wait any longer if you're traveling out of Hayes County or South Austin. Federal authorities have arrested two Central Texas men accused of expressing desire to help terrorist groups in Syria and Africa. Officials say Rahatul Khan is a UT student from Round Rock who said in an online chat room that he was recruiting fighters for jihad. A separate complaint accuses Michael Wolf, an Austin resident, of arranging to fly his family to Turkey so he could enter Syria to fight there. Both men are in custody and face up to 15 years in prison if convicted. More news, weather, and traffic right now on the CW Austin.